Hello Exiles and this is Fusion Gaming and welcome to my Act 3 guide where we're going to run through Act 3 and we're going to see how is the fastest way to get through it and I'll tell you all the places that you need to go. So, first things first, obviously before we carry on, if you have only just stumbled across this video and you want to know where the Act 2 and the Act 1 video is, I will put a link up in the top corner so you can see that. So if you'd rather start from Act 1 and get to here, then I'll put the video links. They will also be in the uh, in the comments. I do like to pin a good chunk of all of my videos in the comments. I would like to also say as well that I will be streaming on Twitch when the new league launches, so 3.24. So I will be putting a Twitch link in the description if you wouldn't mind giving me a follow and come and see me when we go or when the launch begins. But let's begin. So as you start, you are in the city of San. What I need you to do is literally just head in a northwesterly direction and you are looking for a bunch of black guards. They will be stood outside Clarissa or they'll be stood in front of Clarissa, which is these guys here with the shield. Can you see them? You will need to kill these. If you do not kill them, you will need to come back to this point and do it again. The amount of times that I have done act leveling and people have forgotten to kill them or they have forgotten to speak to Clarissa who will be stood like here against this like little pillar. Make sure you speak to her otherwise you will not be able to hand any quests in. Once you've done that right behind her is some stairs. If you then either go down here or flash down here run along the pier and you should then find the door for the sign encampment. Now there is no need to run into town. The amount of people that I see run into town is unbelievable. You don't need to, okay? What I would advise you to do, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it just for the purposes of this, just because I need to go and get some portal scrolls, because I've just remembered. So let me just go and grab some portal scrolls. There we go. So for you, when you run into this town, you're obviously going to run straight through the door for the slums, okay? Now, you are looking for in here the crem the crematorium, but you are also looking for the sewers. Now, if you find the sewers, this is the sewers right here. You see this door here? Now, for you, it won't be unlocked. What I need you to do is put a portal down, okay? Now, with the portal down, bearing in mind you will only be level, I don't know, what, like 14, 15, maybe, oh no, maybe... Maybe in the t you'll be in the 20s around about now. You'll be at level 20. Put a portal down. And then what I usually like to do is I like to follow the paths that cross, ac cross the buildings. So I think I may have gone the wrong way here. Yes, I have. So it's over to the... Is it over to the left? Let's go check. It may be over to the right. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, it could be up here. Yeah, see this? When you're traversing the, the, ta the tops of the, of the buildings... When you're doing this, this is usually the right way. And then when you go back down again, usually the door for the creme is right here. There we go. That's usually how I find it. So when you're in the crematorium, you do need... There is a trial in here, by the way, as well, which can be either in the bottom left or the bottom right corner. There is no real set direction in here. I've had piety be in the top left, top right. But there is an indication when you see a particular shaped room, which I will show you when I get there. So I usually go pick one direction and then if I see it going in that direction then so there's the lab top left top left corner here there's the labyrinth so I'm going to assume then that piety is in the top right corner so we're going to go and test up there so I'm going to go up right oh there it is there it is so can you see this big gap here up oh, look if you look in the map up here you see there's a big gap between this room so if you look over here the gap between this room and this room is tiny and this room and this room is tiny but this gap is massive that is the room that you need for piety so you would go in here you would obviously then kill piety once she triggers takes her a second once she does a little monologue speech then she vanishes bye piety there we go then you would obviously speak to Tolman, you would get his bracelet. Now at this point, you would then, based on the fact that you are now like level 20, what I need you to do, if you want to preserve that portal, is go back and get yourself killed. Now this is not hardcore viable, just go and stand somewhere and just get yourself killed. Now it's not going to happen for me because I'm too leveled in this zone, so I am going to have to log out, but it's just so that you understand what you need to do okay then when you die 
you'll then restart back in town and your portal will be there now when you log out as i've just proven it removes your portal look it's no longer there so the reason why you have to die is so that it preserves your portal if you log out it will remove it now thankfully the portal isn't really that far in my map here so it's like literally around the corner sometimes though it can be absolutely miles away so then at this point you would obviously then when you went back to town you would need to speak to clarissa so obviously once you die speak to clarissa and pick up the um the sewer key so when you go so when you die and you go back to town pick it up then go back through your portal and go down here now there is a little trick down here for the sewers the first there is three busts that you need to pick up okay now the first bust is usually as soon as you walk in so if you just keep going north and then right it's usually around here i think i have passed it it's over there in the top left corner is it over here yes it is it's over here so this stash here this like green step lettering you would then have a bust so that is your first one now the first one is usually either that top left corner or as you're heading towards this top right corner where you need to go it will reveal itself now the second and third has a very deterministic characteristic and i'll show you what i mean so if you walk into this room here so that so the second bust is here now can you see that it is in quite a closed room okay that means that you need to go down for the third bust if the room is closed like this so you then need to go in here go down and then i usually then go right and there's the second one now if the room the one i've just seen is in an open room like this you see how this is open and you can see there's, there's only like two walls here the other one had four walls that's closed this is open then you would need to go up for the third one that is how you can tell and i'm going to just quickly re rinse and repeat that session once more just so you can kind of understand what i mean i'm going to reset reset the instance so if that first bust is in an open room and it's in a closed one again i want it to be i want it to be an open one just so you can kind of see what i mean because then it will be up in the top left corner and it's closed again it doesn't really want to give it to me today does it let's try it again oh we may have it no it's closed again but it's an open room and if you did have the open room then the third and final bust would be up in the top left corner of the map in here you literally just want to head in a northerly direction once you picked up the third bust and you're looking for the market place once you're at the marketplace it's pretty hard it's pretty hard to describe the way that i do it with this but as soon as i walk out of the sewers i usually just go straight north and depending on what i see it depends on which way i go so in this instance i would go right and you're looking for a bunch of archways and i would follow the wall now what i mean by archways is i mean archways like this you see this here where it's got like a red horse beacon on it now i know that these ones do as well but you can hardly see them and they're kind of hidden this one has got like ho i think is that a horse i think it's a horse that orange horse there this is the way to go okay you then run straight through here you can pick up the waypoint you would obviously go downstairs to the catacombs to do the labyrinth that is down there that is one of your trials to do and then what i usually do is i head in a northwesterly direction until i get because sometimes the door can be in this top left corner like this however sometimes it's not sometimes it's all the way over to the right hand side so if it's not in this top left corner the first thing i then do is i then run all the way this way down the right hand side then i would follow this and sometimes it is all the way like over here on this wall round about here okay so that's what i would typically do just head for the top left corner and then if it's not there go all the way to the right so you're looking for the battlefront there is a quest item in there but you don't need to pick it up you don't get a passive skill point don't waste your time in here you basically want to head for the stairs just run in look for some stairs there's your stairs go up your stairs 
keep heading in like a, a westerly direction up some stairs up some stairs and you're looking for the waypoint which should be over here i think i have passed it yep i went up too many stairs go back down over here yeah over here went a little bit too far but yeah you want to pick up this waypoint this is a very crucial waypoint you do need to pick it up then just west of the waypoint i'm probably talking like 15 steps is a little carriage this black guard chest you do need to pick this up you will get a ribbon spool from it if you do not pick that up you cannot continue with the quest so you do need to pick that up at that point as soon as you picked it up go straight down the stairs and head in like a northwest direction again and you're looking for the door for the docks as per all the other acts that I've done, there is always one hated zone. This is my most hated zone because I can sometimes be in here for a good 5-10 minutes trying to find the ther thermaturgical sulfite. Now there is no navigation for this. I have tried to try and navigate. So there's the waypoint. I know that it's not there. You're literally looking for like an exclamation mark and I will show it to you when I when I see it you're looking for like a there's like a container at the bottom of a ramp there it is the supply container here now it'll be a little bit easy for you because you will have an exclamation mark on your map to be able to follow obviously I don't but as you can see there there's not really much to go on okay um from here obviously you would then just log out go back to town and you would then take that waypoint that I said that was crucial back in the battle, uh, the battlefront. Okay. Then from here, as soon as you spawn, you want to head in a north direction. And I mean, like, literally just straight north, that way. North, north, north. Up the stairs, up the stairs, keep going, just head north. North, north. You'll then start to uh, bump into some curtains. Curtains are these red ribbon guys that... Yeah, there was a video that I saw a while back of some guy who said that you fight the curtains. It always made me laugh. Uh, then we go to Solaris Temple Level 1. And in here, there is many different ways that people have said to do this. And people have said to follow the carpet. You can follow the carpet, but then sometimes the carpet splits like that. Well, now which way do you go? So if you went left, then that's a dead end. So it's not always about following the carpet. I usually like to kind of follow it in like a, a southerly direction. Um, it's usually right sometimes it's wrong like that then but it's usually like in a southerly slash easterly direction but it can change and it can move around there is no real help to navigating this zone i think i passed the waypoint over there so yep there we go pick up your waypoint and then carry on now if you ever have to come back to this zone and you don't know where you're going there is a tray here in front of as a table with a tray on it right in front of the waypoint if you zoom out a little bit you can see that there are three cups and four teacups okay now the side of the tray that has four teacups is always the way that you would need to go okay so then we're going to go this way this way uh i'm going to go i'm actually going to go a different way i'm going to start trying to know i was i was right in my gut instincts was to go this way I'm going to go up and left, follow this, and then go up, and it should take me to level 2, there you go, there's level 2. Now there is a bit of a guide for the second level, which I have been told in the past, and that is, depending on where you come out, so this has gone the opposite way to what I'm used to, so uh, I'm going to say that it's going to be to the right, and then back on myself but let's just test it out that could be wrong no left left it's gotta be left it's again it's one of those zones that's just a little bit it's a little bit of a pain in the ass there is a certain path to it yeah there we go we got it now um all you're doing is look for this waypoint it is you could say kind of linear but there is a few you're just looking for the the, the main path the main pathway sometimes that zone is flipped and when you go down you come out instead of coming up you go down and when you go down it can sometimes kind of bend left and then come back on itself as if you're going back to the door that is the right way to go so when you're in here you will then need to speak to lady dahlia who will be stood here she will then give you an, op an option of an amulet which will have deck strength or all attributes and she will give you the infernal talc which you will need 
Then once you've got the infernal talc, you then want to take it back to the sewers. And at this point, you then want to run backwards. And there was a blockage that will be right here in front of you. Just press on that and it will then open and you can then get straight through to the ebony barracks. Now in here, there is a, a pretty hard mini boss. He is called Gravacious. He is literally just a straight line look, straight dart upstairs. He's on the third set of stairs. So there was the second one. Here's the third one and he is up here. He does provide you with the gem reward. So he can provide you with like, there is a big gem reward for killing him, which is like Ray Specter, Ball Lightning. There's a ton of other ones that he does provide you. Again, you just keep going in the same direction until you get to the Lunaris Temple. It's just a straight beeline in a straight line. In here, you I usually just follow the carpet. This one does follow that motto of following the carpet. Um, you just follow, 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 follow. You just don't deviate. Now, when you get to a room with a bunch of benches either side of you, when you get to this point here, if you notice the carpet is branched left. Let me just kill everyone. There we go. See the carpet's branched left? That's the way you need to go. Follow the carpet. Now, in here is coal. You don't need to kill him. So if you just want to skip him, just run straight past him. He can take you a few minutes depending on your damage. And then you want to be looking for... I think I've gone the wrong way here. Yes, I did. I wanted to be going up. Yep. Um, you want to be looking for level 2. So you're looking for L uh, Lunaris Temple level 2. Which should be over here. It kind of goes in a bit of a zig zigzag passion fashion near the top here. And then you've got a waypoint. And then go downstairs to the Lunaris Temple. Now. There was a guy in the comments in the last video. That said that there was a, a bit of an indicator for this zone of a, a corpse and some rope now he said that he didn't know and i think he means this this like chain i'm not too sure well basically he says that one of them or maybe that's the rope i don't know but basically he said that one of them is an indication but there's a chain on both sides there but there's a chain there and a corpse there he said one of them is an indication of the way to go he doesn't know which one so let's test it out. So I'm going to go with the corpse. So there's your corpse. Let's go this way. Now with this, you're looking for... So there's a dead end straight away. And with this, you're looking for a ramp. Now, nine times out of ten, when you find the first set of stairs, which go up like a ramp, like that. You see this here? The next set of stairs, and possibly the third set of stairs, will be in the same direction that is about 90 percent of the time there is a very small margin where sometimes it will then go left and then go back to this direction so just keep going in that direction okay so you see we hit a dead end kind of branch off but you want to be trying to go back that way there we go so we go back this way again there's your second set of stairs same direction keep going in that direction so obviously we can't so we'll take a right keep going that direction there's your third set of stairs you see all three of them were in a line there that way that way that way okay so that's the first thing of this zone second thing of this zone is when you get to the top of the stairs here you have one carriage on the left and two carriages on the right okay now what you don't do is go the way that has two carriages because it is always a dead end you always go the side that has one carriage because that is the way that you need to go and what I usually like to do is when I find the door, the first door, which should be around here, whichever way the door is facing, there we go, is similar to the stairs. It's technically, the door for the boss, or the door, the gold door to get to the boss, is in the same direction. So just head in that direction. So just keep going that line. So just keep going, keep going. There's your door. See, nice straight line. Doesn't always follow that. I would say a good 95% of the time it does. Just keep going in that direction. Then over here, you'll have another door. This is a bit of a, a, bit of a linear room, this. There's only one way out. And then you can either follow the carpet. You can flash across there if you had a movement skill. You then want to go up the stairs. Again, same direction. And then you want to go through the portal and go and kill Piety. So Piety will be here make sure that you pick up the crafting recipe that will be in the far left corner it will be over here around about here on this craft here there crafting recipe 
once you've killed piety make sure that you do pick up the tower key and then you then want to go back to town log out go back to town you can use a portal scroll whichever one you want to do you can obviously pick up any quest items that you've got at this point if you want for any skill points or any gems or anything and at this point you then want to take the waypoint back to the uh, ebony barracks now from here literally for, as soon as you spawn in you want to go north you don't want to go up the stairs just go north and you're heading for greenery see the greenery here on the left on the right you know you're going the right way and then you'll have a door here for the imperial gardens now in the imperial gardens there is a labyrinth trial there is also the door for the library so if you do need access to certain gems then obviously you would need to get to the library which is in this zone it's usually you get to the waypoint then you usually go north and then sorry northwest and then it's usually left at some point the trial is always 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 in the top right corner or the northest point of the map now the way to navigate this zone is literally the path on the floor there just follow it just follow it follow it up the stairs follow it follow it and you should then get to the waypoint okay now at this point you've got a split you can either go left you go right i can categorically guarantee you now that if i go left i'll find the door for the library and i'll find the labyrinth okay so we're just going to quickly run through this just so you can kind of see so if i go there's the library and if i take a right obviously northerly direction over here the labyrinth will be in this top corner all the way over here if i keep going up here top north up 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 there is your lab in the top corner now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly log out just so i don't have to run all the way back to where i was and i'm going to go back to the high gardens there now when you have the split you should be able to see from your waypoint a carriage see this black carriage here that is the way you need to go that is the black guards carriages they are basically dominus's personal guard so you need to follow those to get to dominus who is the boss of act three so as soon as you spawn in when you see this black car head that direction and you just keep following there's another one just keep going there's another one follow that one there's another one there's another one follow the path there's another one there's another one and the door for dominus's tower will be here where you would then use your tower key you would then go into the scepter of god now in here the best way for me to describe this and i am going to probably have to show you in paint just so you can kind of understand obviously um in terms of obviously how this is is what you would need to do is this there we go so the room is every single floor is kind of split into four quadrants like that okay so we have spawned in here now the first floor basically we will spawn in here i know that the room the door will not be here i know that it won't be there so it'll either be in the top left or bottom right okay now every floor that you go to then after that the best thing for you to do is wherever you spawn in whichever segment start heading towards one of the corner segments if you don't see the door by the time you get to the until you start seeing the curvature of the uh, the map then stop and pick a different corner so if you get to here then stop and you would then go top left if you still don't see it then it's in the top right i will show you what i mean because obviously you that may be a bit confusing to understand so I'm just going to go top left first, which I was right in this instance. So top left. Now in here, we are in, if you look at this, can you see this little cheese piece? If you look in the corner here, see this bottom right corner? It's like a piece of cheese. That is this bottom right piece here. So that means that we are right here. So that means the door is either here, here, or here. One of the three. So I'm going to start heading this way first. And we're going to see if we can see the door if we don't see the door pretty quickly obviously it can't go that way i'm going to go i'm actually going to go around go around this way right so i cannot see the door yet still no door no and there's your second piece of cheese can you see it you see it's like triangular shaped i'll move it onto this map you see it so that means that it's not here obviously i went too far but i just did it just to show you i would then start heading towards the far left piece of cheese and there you go it's in this it was in this top left corner over here 
and you literally follow that same process for every floor all the way up so if you look in the top right corner look at the map again we're in the bottom right so i'm gonna head north and see if it's in this corner now there is a waypoint here i would get this waypoint if you can it is a good waypoint to have okay so it's not in the top right so we're going to go over to the left and hopefully the door should reveal itself if it's either in the bottom there it is bottom right or oh, bottom left sorry bottom left there we go so now we're in the upper scepter of god it's exactly the same now we are in if you look at the state of the room we are in the bottom left corner now so i'm going to head north and go and head check over here yep it's over in this corner and then from here we are in the bottom right seat segment so again i'm going to go north now this all changes when you get to the top floor i'm just going to say this now there is one floor i think this is the dead end route isn't it no it isn't no it isn't no it isn't so i uh, i'm going to say then it's in the bottom left corner it's the only way that it could be right now because i've checked the top right checked the bottom left sorry top left so it must be in the bottom left there we go this floor is the last floor this floor always say follows the same policy you come out the door usually you then just start heading in like a south direction until you see this mechanical apparatus here with the door and these bodies being transported upstairs okay you'll see it on the map because you'll have like a big square in the map here this big like void go around it go through the door and just keep heading in that direction through the door and there's your door for the tower and then up here you would then go and kill dominus obviously he is a multi-phased fight so you have one phase where you have these three uh three or four black guards here that you have to kill then once you've done that you then have a few more monsters that you have to kill these ones here these miscreations and alal the terrifying and you also have uh the woman orcus orcus yes and then after that you then can then fight phase one of dominus then he will then teleport to the other side of the room today dominus whenever you're ready thank you and then he will then kind of delve into the shadow realm and turn into a darker more evil version of himself which you then have to then kill which is this guy here try a little tip for you here try and stay within the red circle he will cause it to rain the rain makes it makes you bleed so if you stay within that red circle you are protected okay little tip for you there once you've done that you don't need to speak to dahlia go through the door to get out for the aqueducts and you are then in the first initial zone for act four that is basically it guys for act three i'm going to leave it there if you enjoy this content and you are enjoying the the guide so so far then thank you if you are watching and i have completed the whole guide series i will be putting act four link video up here now and enjoy the rest of the series and until tomorrow when we do act five thank you for watching and stay sane